She took another reluctant step and stopped. Hey, do you mind if we take a side gate? Side gate? Fortune seemed just as nervous as herself. Jewel tried to sound casual. Yeah, you know, the one at the next sub-level. We can skip the front guards altogether. I used it all the time. She felt herself blushing. When I explored the city on my own. I guess. Great! Jewel, uh, Jewel led the way before he could change his mind. After a steep climb through a narrow passage, they reached a little courtyard overgrown with kudzu. The only light came from a patch of open sky high above. Jewel pushed some of the growth aside to reveal a smooth, off-colour wall section. Fortune gave her a confused look. I'm sorry, I, I didn't even know about this. Maybe it was installed, well, later. Oh, indeed. For what purpose, I wonder? Jewel thought of the odd gifts again. I have some suspicions. This might not mean anything, but... A flicker of shadows interrupted her thought. She checked their surroundings. The passage curved off as empty as before. Only a slight draft rustled the leaves. Anyway, it might be nothing. We can speculate later. She returned to the wall panel and pressed her palms to it. The surface quivered to her touch. An oblong protrusion appeared and peeled back, presenting a... The surface quivered to her touch. An oblong protrusion appeared and peeled back, presenting a double iris scanner. Jewel gazed into it until a muffled mechanical cadence from deep inside the walls warned her to step back. The panel shook and popped ajar. She watched the scanner meld back into the surface, grabbed the door and swung it wide open. Shall we? A short dim tunnel led them into a courtyard much like the one behind them, but for a steep staircase ascending to the next plateau.